What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're checking out the top 10 features in iOS 9. There's not much of a redesign happening here, but there are a handful of noteworthy features that you should know about. First up, Apple has added a new low power mode which can be enabled within the settings app and add up to 3 additional hours of usage to your device. Resources will be limited and the display brightness is lowered, but worth the sacrifice if you need the extra juice. Next up, Apple has refreshed the Notes app across iOS devices to feature new helpful features. You can easily create checkable lists within the app using the shortcut keys, change the formatting of the text to make your lists pretty, and add photos from your library or take a picture. You can even draw silly doodles that you can directly embed within the notes, which I find to be extremely useful. Coming up next, we have expanded Siri functionality. The best way to find out all of the commands is by asking Siri yourself. Siri now has the ability to set reminders based on text in an email or a message. A simple command like remind me about this will pull text from the page and create a reminder. It's actually pretty cool. And you can also set reminders based on location and specify that you'd like to be reminded about something when maybe, for example, you get into the car, which is very helpful. You can even tell Siri to show you photos from a specific time frame and it'll automatically launch the Photos app and pull them up. Just a few mentionable Siri features, but there are a ton of them in iOS 9 and if you'd like to see a full video on this, leave this video a thumbs up. There's also a redesigned app switcher, which I think looks a lot better than what we've seen in iOS 8, but you won't find much new here. Everything works exactly the same. One of the cooler features is the relocated spotlight search. It now lives to the left of your home screen, but can also be accessed from its old location. In the new spotlight search on the left though, you'll find new widgets and Siri suggestions that will recommend different apps, contacts, and other information based on your usage. iOS 9 will begin auto-populating these sections with helpful apps and information over time. There's also a new feature in iOS 9 called Proactive Assistant, which will sift through the information, email, messages, and more on your device and use those details to make your life easier. For example, if I get an email from someone with a date and time listed, iOS may create a calendar event based on the information and automatically remind me closer to the date. Moving along to the iPad side of things, there are a few awesome features to look forward to in iOS 9. Slideover will provide an easy way to access different apps on your device without leaving behind what you're currently doing. Just swipe over from the right side of the screen to reveal the app or app list, and you can easily change between apps by swiping down from the top of that section. To expand on Slideover, over's functionality, you can even go into full-on split view and run two apps side by side. This is nothing new in the mobile world, but it's nice to see this type of functionality coming to iOS. The split view is completely resizable and compatible apps will work in portrait or landscape view. There's also a new picture in picture mode that will allow you to continue watching videos even after you've left the app. The video will pop up in a small window which can be moved around the screen and you can play, pause, maximize, or exit the video from the available controls. Finally, we have some pretty cool features with Apple's new quick type keyboard in iOS 9. It's super simple to select text and move the cursor around. All you have to do is drag your finger on the keyboard with two fingers and that'll actually slide the cursor around. If you drag and hold, you can actually select text, which is a very nice thing to have. In the top left of the iPad keyboard, you'll also find some helpful shortcuts that will allow you to cut, copy, and paste text. Now I know not all of these are the biggest updates in the world, but I think together they make a decent update for iOS 9 and I'm actually more looking forward to the stability that comes along with this update. But let me know which of these features are your favorites down in the comment section below and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.